For other top story, a victory for organized labor. Michigan's right to work law is one step closer to becoming just a memory. The state Senate voted to repeal the law that was passed back in 2012. Now it comes after the state house approved its own version of the legislation. The bill now headed to Governor Whitmer's desk where she is expected to sign off. Pamela Osborne joins us now live with reaction from today's big vote. Pam. Unions all across the state are celebrating today's vote. In fact, I spoke with the president of the Michigan Nurses Association about the changes she hopes to see for not only her union members, healthcare workers, but patients as well. I'm voted for the bills passed. Mr. President, that completes specified. Act. With Tuesday's vote, Michigan is one step closer to becoming the first state to repeal a right to work law in decades. It was exciting and emotional at the same time because I was there 10 years ago, so I got a little teary eyed after it finally passed. Jamie Brown, a critical care nurse and president of the Michigan Nurses Association, was one of many union workers rallying at the state capitol. Yes, she says when the union requirement went away, so did the nurses. I think it emboldened the hospital corporations to ask workers to do more with less um, staff at the bedsides. Brown says once signed into law, the repeal could even help improve patient care. Nurses have left the bedside because they are not happy with their working condition right now. And if we can get the law into place, um, we should see a uh, increase of nurses coming back to the bedside. She's already set her sights on their next steps. It will give us a bigger voice um, to get staffing ratios into law, hopefully, um, and put enough nurses at the bedside to take care of the number of patients that are coming into the hospitals. Not everyone was in support. The change voted on Tuesday would require workers to join labor unions. Many job providers will be less willing to locate or expand in Michigan if we eliminate our right to work status, they will simply cross us off the list of consideration. And those were some of the arguments against that repeal to right to work. The AFL-CIO is the state's largest labor union, representing more than a million workers across 40 different labor organizations. Their president, Ron Bieber, releasing a statement tonight that reads in part, today's victory belongs to the hundreds of thousands of Michigan workers, labor leaders and organizers who have fought tirelessly against relentless attacks from Betsy DeVos and corporate interests on working people and their freedom to negotiate for better wages, benefits, and safety standard. Now, there is one burning question here, and that is, when does all of this go into effect? Will it be immediately when the governor signs this bill or at some point next year? We're still waiting to find out. Reporting live tonight, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. As you said, a major victory for labor leaders. All right, thank you, Pam.